Is it the hottest drop in 2021? The answer is yes. Rock. Aye. It's the hottest Aye. drop Aye. of all time. George Washington won. George Washington won. Review time, let's go. You know them and you love them. Actually, you probably don't know them because these babies are exclusive. You won't find these at any old finish line or famous footwear, but these are one in a million. The George Washington ones. I've been wearing them for, what, probably about like mm, three hours today. We have some ratings on it. All right, let's mm -hmm. go with style. What do you think of the style of it? Well, what do you think <laughs> of the look? style is an obvious 10 out of 10. And that can't be disputed. I mean, look at that shape of that shape. From, from the point all the way at the top to the arch support. I mean, I would have to give it a 10 out of 10 too. Like, it's just craftsmanship. It's, it's straight beauty. Mm -hmm. All right, next. Oh wait, do you hear that? I think someone's calling. Oh, what's up? I'm not doing this. <laughs> <laughs> don't even, don't even say, George Washington wants your shit back. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was far away. George Washington wants your shit back. Hey, hey, aging hey, <laughs> No, not doing it. Performance. I think out of all the shoes I've worn in my life, these have to be the most comfortable. Most comfortable, you heard the it here first. They have the perfect arch, it's perfect for your foot every time you take mm -hmm. a walk. Um, they fit just right. They know exactly what they was doing with the wood. It's nice and smooth on the inside. Um, I mean, they're just very classic. Yeah. I mean, can you dispute classics? I can't. I mean, no one, no one can. That's what I'm saying though. It's like, it's a classic shoe. It's been around forever. That's how we know it's great. Mm -hmm. If it's been around forever and people are still wearing it like myself. Yep. A very uh, shoe fanatic person. Like I got Jojo as a bag at home. I got all different types of shoes. Mm -hmm. These going at the top of the rack. Number one, baby. Number one. That number one spot like Ludacris. Durability. Durability. How do you think these would withstand the test of time? <sighs> well, they are made out of wood. They'll probably last as long as you want them to. I mean, trees have been around as long as I've lived. Yeah. This is made out of tree. So this would probably be around as long as I live. Yeah, I think that'll be around for generations. You can pass that to your kids, they can pass it to their kids. I can't. On top of that, it has nice, like a nice finish to it. Rain won't destroy it, mm, you know? Nope. Uh, the bottom, yeah, it may get a little beat up, but you can always re-sand it out. That's the good And then good put, part. An put another coating on it. So, I think they'll last forever. Like, they're unbeatable. All right, now we have to go for the price range. What would one of these cost you compared to all the shoes you can think of out there? Mm -hmm. Is the cost effective to the shoe? Well, I'll tell you the price I would pay for them. What would the price you pay for them? I'd pay up to $1,000 for those. Fuck out of here. <laughs> I paid five bucks. What? No, stop. Stop. For them to be a 10 out of 10 in style, 10 out of 10 performance. Mm -hmm. Durability, 10 out of 10. Right. I mean, craftsmanship, again, which is, it's style, but craftsmanship, like. You gotta respect it. Someone put hard work on these. $5. Can you beat five, no. You can't. Let's just be honest, show me a, Show me a pair of shoes for $5. Do it, show me. Link it in the comments, you won't find one. Sorry, I'm not, I don't mean to be quiet, I'm trying to think about, is there any other way I can spend $5 that's better than this? No. I thought of another good part about those. Uh, you actually save time with these because you don't have to tie your shoes. And now it may seem like a small chunk of time you're using, but you add up that chunk of time every single day of your whole life, that's a lot of time that Dallas is gonna be saving. These are slip-ons. You can use them as house shoes. You can go out on the street. You can go mm -hmm. to the club in these things. You can. Bangers. You can go into work with these with a nice suit tie on. I mean, they're just an all-around shoe. Mm -hmm. All-terrain, made for everything. So, like, not only is performance good, mm -hmm. is it great for any occasion? The answer is yes. That's why I didn't even have to put it in there. That's why I didn't even have to discuss. It goes without saying. Within the rating things that we were doing, that's why I didn't have to. Because, of course, it's obvious, we know this. 
look at this shoe. You tell me you don't want that shoe. You can't. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. Come here. on. All right. One other thing about these. The weight. Maybe I'll do that. We, we can put that in. Wait. I like that. I know, um, the, I know the people at home, they're wondering. They're saying, hey, Dallas, how much would a shoe like that weigh? Feels probably about like two to three pounds a shoe. Is that a bad thing we ask? No, that helps out with durability. What else does it help out with? Uh, Self-defense. Fuck, I need to start <laughs> Look, see this shoe made for, I can stab uh, me. Uh, look, uh, look, uh, look, right here at this point, that would hurt, it would anybody. hurt. Listen, if I've locked my windows and I need to break out, <laughs> I'm sorry, lock my car, I need to break out all my windows, I'll hit each window. No consequence. See ya, see ya windows, you're no match for this wooden shoe. Listen, I go to the baseball game, I didn't have a bat. Hello, I have one with me. You could use it for anything. Anything. And you know, there's a lot of people at home right now, Dallas, they're on the fence, they're saying, should I get the wooden shoe, should I not? Is it the hottest drop of 2021? The answer is yes and yes. It's the hottest drop of all time. All time. It's been around since 1500s. Easily. Maybe even sooner. Still number one till this day. Longest reigning champs <laughs> of all time. <laughs> the greatest shoe ever invented. Ever. Shoe drop. Looks just like my shoe. Hey. Yeah. Maybe we buy this and sculpt a new pair of shoes. <laughs> we got a stain Dallas's wooden shoes. You want some Australian timber oil? I like timber Ooh. oil. That could be good. I like how it's in a can. Oh, semi-solid. Mmm. What kind will make you faster? <laughs> Damn, he's flying. I'm glad we want to split half. <laughs> this thing's louder than shit. <laughs> We're out here. We got the new George Washington ones yeah. on Dallas's feet. They are pretty spectacular. Damn, dude. They really be clapping out All here. Right. We're out here. Let's hit the streets. Hey, have you seen my George Washington ones? That's what he's asking. <laughs> he's looking for them. They're right here, buddy. <laughs> I think it's pretty good everyday shoe. Especially when you get on cobblestone. That's right. Shoe comparison. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I like my shoes a lot, but the only problem is that they're not made out of wood. The only problem is you don't sound like a horse when you walk, idiot. <laughs> ladies love a man with loud footsteps. But this one's taken. I can't. I'm sorry, ladies. I can't. The funny part about Main Street is that, like, during the day, it's a bunch of older people buying knickknacks and stuff like that. But then at night, on the weekends, it's just chaos down here. Like, everyone's getting fucked up. There's cops everywhere, but... You'd really never know it because of how peaceful it is normally. Howdy ho. Let me know in the comments if you'd rather have that Corvette or these shoes. These shoes. It's an outside. It mean? was uh it was a rhetorical question. Yeah, everybody knew that. That's just what anyone wants when they're on a phone call. Is for a guy to walk by in wooden shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine what you said? Hold on. I just got a wooden shoes walking by right now. Wait a I had to hold on. I'd be like, excuse me, what? Excuse me, that's a guy who wouldn't choose walking by. <laughs> no, you had to give me a second. I need a nice suit and tie. That would really complete the look. Damn, son. That's Damn, nice. Damn, son, level. where'd you get all that? Damn, son. Where did you locate this hat? Damn, son, where'd you find this? <laughs> look, Dallas, this would be your shirt. It'd go perfect with those shoes. Jeez, bro, that you just cut up. some armholes in it. <laughs> I'm gonna get a custom suit made. What are you talking about? I'll go to the chicken place. Oh, chicken it's place. literally called the chicken place. <laughs> Meet him at the chicken spot? Meet him at the chicken. That's what it should have been called. It's chicken spot, not chicken place. Howdy, ho. Yo. Rock, bro. Hey, appreciate Hell it. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's, That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the good old George Washington Watts. That guy knew what was up back there. <laughs> that guy was fun. He was cool. He was. We like him. more people like that. I told Dallas earlier we should get him a pair of grills for his teeth that look like they're made out of wood. Like instead of diamonds all over them, it just has like a wood pattern. I think he'd be looking fresh as hell. 
Or maybe you actually get wooden teeth, Dallas. I actually get wood. Like, How yeah. attached to your old teeth are you? I mean, I guess I could go. You tell me you give me some wooden ones? Yeah. I mean, who doesn't like wood? Good enough for George, good enough for you, all right? That's right. <laughs> Dude, the best part is when you like walk by somebody and you act all normal. Right, like we're not doing anything? <laughs> yeah, and then they look back like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> some people I like to say hello to, other people. I just want to just sit out. That's all. All right, just soaking in a little bit. Yeah, soaking in. Howdy ho. Not just like smiling, but they're looking at the ground. So they try not to make eye contact. My friend just got some new shoes. What do you guys think? Oh, Great. That's wonderful. Excellent. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. you. Guys, have a good one. He said, not only wonderful, but excellent. Grandma's cookies. So I heard that in Grandma's cookies, they actually have a grandma locked up in the back room <laughs> who is forced to make all the cookies. Is she? Oh, these cookies look so fat, too. You guys like the new kicks? <laughs> I the George it. Washington ones. Thank you. <laughs> they really liked it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I want a copy? Mm -hmm. I'll take a bite. Take it. Oh no! We got grandma's cookies. Do you like the shoes? Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Thank you. He just got them today. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <Got it. laughs> that guy goes there made in 1753. Please smash that motherfucking like button. Thank you. Hey, you put a gun on my mess. Hey, I put a hole in your parents. Hey, I got lean on my zombies. Hey, I got a Uzi, no Uzi. Fuck me. Look at me. Hey, fuck on